Hello everyone! Many Armenian traditions revolve heavily around food and hospitality as a way to show love and respect to our friends and family. A quintessential element that usually accompanies a very robust and extravagant meal is Armenian coffee. We call it surj. Here's how you make it. You're going to need a coffee pot we call surjeb, a long spoon called tukal or katal depending on the dialect you speak, and you're going to need small espresso type cups we call kavat. The ingredients are simple. Armenian coffee, surj, sugar, shakar, and water, chur. Step one, you take the water and measure it with your kavat based on the number of guests you're planning on serving. We're gonna make two cups. Step two, turn on your burner to medium heat and wait for it to simmer. Now making suj can be very tricky. Timing is everything. If you add your coffee to boiling water, you're gonna get a mess you do not wanna clean up. For every cup of water you've added to the pot, you add a heaping teaspoon full of coffee. You add the sugar based on your guests' preferences. Making surj is like a delicate dance. Right before it begins to boil, you remove it from the heat. You give it a stir, you put it back onto the heat. You do this a couple of times. Now we're ready to pour. Pouring your surge is also an art. You must be sure to pour incrementally equal amounts of coffee in each cup so that the brew is distributed evenly, so that each cup of coffee will have the same consistency. Our surge is ready and is usually accompanied by a sweet Armenian treat called nazuk. Back in the day, young Armenian brides-to-be would usually use the level of sweetness that they used in their coffee as an indicating message for their marriage prospects when they came to visit. They say that some Armenian brides used salt instead of sugar to let their unfavorable prospects know that they were not interested. So as they say in Armenian, Haram Metzek. Welcome and enjoy.